Hey gang. Well, as you can see right here, yesterday the police came by to pretty much tell me that uh, they're going to condemn the house sometime around next month. And I've got till, I guess, till probably about towards the end of the month to get everything and get on out of here. So last night I contacted my wonderful, beautiful wife, Sarah, about what to do. And also con I also contacted the ex-roommate about what to do. And as of right now, there's just not much to say about what's going to happen yet. I still am planning on doing the Highway 10 yard sale next week because I can't miss out on that. That is that is some that's that's gonna be some big time money to be made and everything like that. Um, but you know, it, it, it kind of upsets me that being here for almost seven years is now going down the drain. Uh, it, it it really really sucks. I hate it, but. Hopefully, maybe we can come up with something to where I can still stay here in Boonville for a little while longer because when Sarah came to visit me over St. Patrick's Day weekend, she told me that she's been working on trying to get us a place in Muskogee and hopefully something will come up by August. But that means that I still need to stay here and get my fine paid, try to get community service, hopefully around next month when I go ask for it. I know it's going to take a little time for them to to to, uh, to get it for me and everything like that, but hopefully they will. The funny thing is, is that they signed this piece of paper on Monday and delivered it to me yesterday. So that's kind of screwy right there. But they are planning on tearing the house down because they consider this place an eyesore and all that and everything like that. And, and you know, and to tell you the truth. Yeah, this place has been falling apart for quite some time. The windows are busted out because the ex-roommate's dogs. Uh, the roof is in bad shape. There's, there's a lot of stuff about this place that's in bad shape. and But the unfortunate thing about it was we, we rented this place so cheap because the landlord said, you know, if anything gets broken or anything like that, you fix it. You, you can take care of it. So... But now, you know, we got to get everything out of here by next month, and hopefully we'll be able to. Hopefully we'll get something straightened out. I'm going to go message Sarah here in a little while, um, figure out what we're going to do, and get everything hopefully taken care of and straightened out before next month hits, or before next month ends. I don't know if they're going to give us till the end of next month or till the 25th to, uh, to get everything taken care of and all that. I don't know. Still haven't heard anything from the landlord yet. He hasn't come by yet to, t to say anything. But I imagine he probably won't be by till probably around rent time. Which is not going to do us a whole lot of good because there's no point in paying him rent anyway next month if they're going to condemn this place by then anyway. So yeah, just... But, um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back inside, get some stuff done, say a prayer, and hope that uh, hopefully everything by next month will be will be all right everything will be cool and everything will be great so <sighs> crossing fingers and praying gang that's all i can do right now and that's all i can hope for and that's all i can ask for there's, there's a lot of prayer so i will see you guys next time around i'm still gonna do videos on you know don't know what i'm gonna do but who knows if uh i may wind up doing a this ain't ghost hunters video from this place one of these days so, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. See you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Try to be good. Try to be good to yourself. Try to be good to others. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So, till next time, as always, stay strong. Rock on.